Hi, thanks for joining. Jeremy Meyerhoff here with Mercer. Today I want to talk about compliance. Now this is a hot topic every time we have a conversation with one of our one of our clients and I wanted to talk today with Jen Cortez. She is an ERISA attorney and she also leads our regulatory practice here in Mercer, Chicago. So Jen, I figured maybe we could talk about, since open enrollment is just on the horizon, what are some of our clients' biggest concerns compliance related as you look at open enrollment? Sure, this is a really busy time of year. And mostly we're working with our clients on probably two main issues. One is um, your annual disclosure requirements. So those notices such as the WICRA notice, the Medicare Part D notice, um, the CHIP notice, HIPAA special enrollment notices, really getting those notices because it's an annual requirement out to the participants. And then the other issue to that is how do you distribute those notices? That's probably one of the biggest challenges for a lot of employers. And the reason for that is because the electronic distribution rules aren't as employer friendly as you would hope they would be. And that's mostly because they were written in 2001, which was Such when a long time ago. it was a very long time ago. <laughs> and when I think about 2001 and when these electronic distribution rules were set, I was using AOL dial up. <laughs> so we've come a long way. Unfortunately, the rules haven't. So this has right. become a, a major concern for employers on how do you get all of this paper out to people that don't right. sit at a computer every day and can receive that easily as a result of these rules. So that's one major issue that we work with employers on. And then secondarily, we're setting contributions right now. Yep. And for those calendar year plans, we need to be making sure that the contributions for employer share responsibility purposes are affordable. Right. So we've got those affordability uh, safe harbors out there and we're working with clients to ensure that the contributions for those full-time employees are affordable, taking into, consider into consideration any opt-outs that they have, but also their wellness programs. So there are a lot of complicated things that go into ensuring that the coverage is affordable for employer share responsibility purposes. Right, thanks Jen. God, there's just so much to consider when you're looking at compliance. Now I figure maybe just to, to sum up the video, um, could you maybe just go over maybe two or three areas where our clients might be at the largest exposure for risk, uh, especially considering open enrollment is, is coming up? Sure, I think that there are probably three different risks here. First, Department of Labor audits. Those are happening, uh, the, the Department of Labor could come in and they're gonna look for, did you provide the notices? How did you provide the notices? And if you're not providing those notices, you potentially could be at risk with the Department of Labor. Secondarily, and I think sometimes most importantly, you're subject to potential litigation from employees, your participants. Yep. If they don't receive those notices, they could have a claim for not having the information necessary to move forward with a claim that they have. Um, and then outside of open enrollment annual disclosure notices and more on the affordability side, we're now seeing issues with the IRS as it relates to employer share responsibility. They're now issuing the penalty letters or the assessment letters to employers. Uh, for those that maybe didn't offer that minimum value affordable coverage to their participants and or their full-time employees specifically. And so now we're trying to work with our employers right now to uh, respond to those those IRS inquiries about employer share responsibility. So I think the Department of Labor is one area, right. potential litigation is another, and now we've got the threat of IRS penalties related to employer share responsibility. Wow, fantastic, great overview. Thank you so much, Jen, we appreciate having you. If you have any questions about compliance as it relates to your benefit plans, don't hesitate to reach out. You can also find more insights on my Twitter at jfromhr or connect with me on LinkedIn and looking forward to seeing you on the next video.